Hello, 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 hello. Perhaps you know the expression, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And so after I had taken the solutions to this oscillating, pure rolling disc inside the cylinder, I thought, isn't there a way that I can demonstrate to you that the result that we calculated is indeed correct. And then I remembered that 18 years ago, in 1999, in the fall of 1999, lecture 13 of my 801 lecture, you can watch it, it's on this YouTube channel, that I had a track, circular track, of which at the time I believed the radius was 85 centimeters, and I had a small ball, solid sphere, rolling, simple harmonic motion, small angled approximation. I can assure you that I did not derive the correct frequency or the period for that matter for the rolling sphere. That would have been way above the level of the students at that time. What I did derive, however, and that's easy, what would be the period if you have a sliding object, zero friction cylinder, and you have a sliding object which oscillates simple harmonic motion back and forth. And I derived, which is very easy, that that period is simply 2 pi times the square root of r over g. It's the same that you would have found for a pendulum with length l, except that the l now is capital R. And so for 85 centimeters, I calculated, what each student could have done, that the period would probably be around 1.85 seconds. And then I did the demo, and I didn't prepare them I didn't tell them that it would take longer for this rolling object. I sort of implied that I expected the same value. Instead, I found that the period was way larger, 2.27 seconds. And so the question for the students was, why is it larger than the 1.85? But, and I stress this again, I never used the 85 centimeters and used the equation that I derived for you in my solutions for a solid sphere. It's very close to the one of a disc, except that the 3 over 2 that we find for the disc becomes 7 over 5 for a solid sphere. Because the moment of inertia of a solid sphere that is resting on a surface is 7 fifths mr squared. It's 2 fifths mr squared relative to the center. You have to use the parallel axis theorem and then you get 7 fifths mr squared. So, I decided, yuppie, I'm going to show you people that even though I didn't calculate in 1999 what the period should be, I can probably prove to the students that the 85 centimeters for a rolling sphere, radius 85 centimeters, is exactly 2.27 seconds, plus or minus maybe 0.01 seconds. So I watched the lecture and I was shocked because when you take 85 centimeters, and you apply the equation that I had derived, you do not find 2.27 seconds. I did some thinking, and I concluded that the only explanation had to be that the radius of that track was not 85 centimeters. So, I don't know why I thought it was 85, my assistant probably told me that it was 85. And it was irrelevant for me what it was at the time. But I concluded, therefore, that that radius is wrong. I made a rough calculation 
and I concluded the radius must be very close to 92 centimeters. And I contacted Andy Neal at MIT with whom I have worked several years and I said Andy look at my lecture 13, look at the very end. I can't believe that the radius of that track was 85 centimeters. Out of the question I predict it's close to 92 centimeters. It was Thanksgiving weekend and then there was a weekend, a Sunday and a Monday. So I had to wait three days for his answer. And his answer was, Walter, <laughs> you're right. The radius is 91.8 centimeters. I had also asked him what the radius was of the rolling ball and he said the diameter is one inch, 2.54 centimeters. So then I used the numbers 91.8 centimeters for the radius of the track, circular track. I even put in half the diameter as the radius for the rolling sphere. And what did I find? I find 2.26 seconds! <laughs> Physics works! But it took me 18 years to actually make this check. And the interesting thing is that when I made the check, I could therefore conclude with absolute certainty that the radius couldn't be fine, couldn't be 85 centimeters. So I was happy. And in a way, in a very indirect way, I have demonstrated then that at least in the case of the rolling sphere, the solid rolling sphere, where you have this 7 over 5 here, that indeed the prediction that it is about 2.26 seconds is consistent with my measurement at that time of 2.27 plus or minus 0.1. But this is not 85. Okay, so... We straightened out something that perhaps I should have straightened out 18 years ago. But that was not my objective, so I never checked it. Have a nice day. Watch the end of lecture 13 of 801. You can see it in your, with your own eyes. But now you know that the radius is not 85. That may help you. Take care, have a nice day, and now that I have solved this problem, after 18 years, I'm sure you want to be friends with me. <laughs>